All right, I'm going to go ahead and knock out these four problems real quick. Start with 17. No power to a power, no zero power, but you do have a negative power. That negative power does have to be moved. But first, knock out your coefficients. 10 divided by 2 is 5. You have x to the fifth. You move up your negative power. You got a positive x to the first. Now you have same basis, side by side. Add away. 5 to the x, I'm sorry, 5 times x to the sixth is your final answer. Over here, power to a power, yes. That power happens to be a zero. Anything that is zero power, one. Final answer, because it all got raised to the zero power. Here, power to a power, yes you do, only in the second parentheses though. The first one is not messed with yet. 5x to the fourth, y to the negative fourth. Over here, remember, coefficients get raised to the outside power. 4 squared, not 4 times 2. 4 squared is 16. Then you multiply the exponents. 3 times 2 makes x to the 6th. That's parentheses, sorry. 4 times 2 makes y to the 8th. The only thing left to do now is multiply these coefficients and then add up your same base exponents. So 5 times 16 makes 80. For your x's, you have 4 and a 6, making 10. And then for the y's, you have a negative 4 and a positive 8, which makes positive 4. And you're done there. Moving on to the last one. Power to a power, nope. Zero power, nope. Negative power, nope. Same base, yep. F, F, F. So knock out the coefficients first. 4 times a 2 makes an 8. F to the first power, second power, third power, one plus two plus three makes six, and voila.